The background to the column of text in this page is slightly translucent, allowing the page's background image to show through. To achieve this effect in the past, you would need to create the translucent column as part of the background image. But as you can see if I resize the browser, that the background image is moving behind the column of text. So the two are not related, they're completely separate. There are two ways of achieving translucency in CSS3, using the opacity property and using one of the new colour formats, RGBA or HSLA. RGBA stands for Red, Green, Blue with Alpha Transparency and HSLA stands for Hue, Saturation, Lightness with Alpha Transparency. Using opacity and one of the new colour formats is very similar but they do have very different outcomes. Let's go into Dreamweaver and see the difference. I've got that same page here. If I put my cursor inside the text you can see that it's in uh, a div called content. So what I need to do is to go to the style sheet and make a change to the content style rule. I'm going to add opacity. The opacity property takes a value between 0 and 1. 0 is completely transparent and 1 is completely opaque. So for this demonstration I'm going to go half way between, say around 0 0.6. And if I go into live view, you can see that what has happened is that not only is the background of the text translucent, but the image has also been made translucent. And the reason for that is that opacity affects everything within the element to which it's applied. If we go back to the HTML code, there we are, the image is inside the content div. So because it's inside the content div, the opacity has also been applied to the image. Sometimes that might be the type of effect that you want, but very often it's not. So in that case you need to use one of the new colour formats with the background colour. Let's just switch to another copy of the same page and go into the style sheet. What I'm going to do with the content style rule is to leave the existing background colour and put a new definition for background colour immediately after it. The reason for that is I want older browsers still to be able to see the background colour. They won't be able to recognise RGBA or HSLA, but they'll recognise the background colour property that uses the hexadecimal colour. And open the colour picker. And the first thing I need to do is to click this little right arrow at the top right of the colour picker, go to colour format, and I'm going to choose RGBA, but if you prefer hue, saturation, lightness, feel free to use HSLA. Uh, RGBA, and then select white from the, the swatches here. Now when Dreamweaver inserts RGBA or HSLA, it automatically sets the alpha transparency to 1, which is the same as with uh, opacity. 1 means that it's fully opaque, 0 is fully translucent. I'm going to change this to 0 0.5, Eight, and then switch over here and switch on live view and you can see that what has happened is that the background to the text is translucent but the image is not affected. So RGBA and HSLA affect only the background colour but you must remember to have two background colours, one using hexadecimal for older browsers and the one that uses RGBA or HSLA must come after it because it will then take precedence in the cascade in browsers that understand the new colour formats. So just to recap, the opacity property affects all the children of an element that it's applied to. But using one of the new colour formats, RGBA or HSLA, affects only the opacity of the background colour. In both cases, the value is a decimal number between 0 and 1. 0 is fully transparent and 1 is fully opaque.